Hello people of the internet, my name is Tatiana and this is Madeira Diaries. I'm spending 14 days on this beautiful island in the Atlantic Ocean and I thought I would create this mini-series where you can tag along as we explore the island, taste different local drinks and food, do different activities, go on hikes, go surfing and all the fun stuff. So stay tuned and I'm very happy to have you. As tradition dictates, new country means tasting a new local soda. This one is a Madeira Brisa. This one specifically is passion fruit flavored, but they also have a pineapple one. And I'm kind of hoping it will taste like Kima from the Azores, but um, let's see what we got here. If I'm being honest, after tasting this, I don't think I remember exactly how Kima tasted, because I feel like it's very similar. It's very refreshing, very heavily bubbly but also quite sweet it's one of the best drinks that i tried like this i feel like kima was a little bit better but it's been two years so i'm not sure if i remember it exactly right Oh my god, it's so stuffy. I thought it would be. How do I eat this? It's not like a regular fish dish. That's all. That's all. Mmm. Okay, it's so good. My uncle also record your opinion. You can buy it. Wanna try it? Yeah, I will. Looks really good. Like the banana maracuya. It's soft, so it should be ripe. It's a little bit yellow. It's fluffy. Touch it. Touch it. Wow. Is that how you're supposed to cut it? Yeah, you cut it in half, then you open it. Look. Gorgeous. Smells a little bit like cucumber. Do a little bit on it, but don't bite the seeds, because the seeds are bitter. Bitter and not poisonous. No, or just also bitter. poisonous. No, just bitter. Like apple seeds, you know. Now you can chew on it a little bit. You can feel the flavor of it. That's fucking sour. It's good, right? It's refreshing. It tastes like um, blackberries. Mm -hmm. Well, it does not taste like a banana nor a maracuya. Like <laughs> it really tastes like blackberries that aren't ripe yet. <laughs> a lemon, lemon papaya. No lemon maracuya. Maracuya lemon. Maracuya lemon. Mar mar maracuya lemon. It doesn't look very good. It doesn't look good at all. It smells like a vegetable garden. Is it, it gonna like be good? It feels very hollow. Oh. What's it looking like inside? Oh. It kind of looks similar, but more. <laughs> Just taste it. It's actually a better kind of sour than this. It's not like... It's more like... Mm. I don't think this one was fully ripe because the other one was completely separated from the shell. And this one you actually have to work but for. But here you also have so much on the outside, it's almost like a pomegranate or something like that. This one is the sweetest so far. Mm. But you know what? I'm wondering. Like, somebody at some point cut this open, looked at it, like, like and and thought that it's like, okay to eat. It. Like, it well, looks you smell super it. poisonous. No, you smell it and it smells like fruit and it's good. Okay, but I don't know. It lo doesn't look like something you should be eating. Somehow it looks poisonous. But it tastes very good. But I think the yellow one was my favorite. The inside, after you take out all the seeds, looks like a coral reef. Like here, Nemo is finding Dora. Dora. <laughs> Isn't her name Dora? <laughs> Dory. <laughs> oh, look how juicy and red it is. Oh, wow. A moment. <gasps> wow. Okay, so this is like the OG Marquia passion fruit. Oh, yeah. It's pretty, but also quite creepy. Like it's it, pretty. People have this fear of like um, I don't that know what's road. it called with like the dots and like structures like this put together. I don't think those people would be able to watch this video. 
<laughs> oh my god, that is quite sour. How do you rate that? Wait, I don't think it's I don't think this one was fully ripe. Belly problems incoming. Yeah, so apparently passion fruits have a lot of fiber and they act as a natural laxative. So what we are doing here might not have been the best idea. Update tomorrow. But I guess we'll see how that goes. So for me the Grenadilla one wins. Uh, the Canadian, no. Yeah, the yellow one is That's not Oh the yeah, no no no. That's the the yellow one, one uh, will wins for me. And I think the banana one was my least favorite. Okay. Because that one was just like it tried to do a lot and it ended up just being sour. And the pomegranate? Pomegranate. We don't have no, a pomegranate. The the grenadilla was a bit too sweet for my liking. So it was third place for that. Yeah. The whole experience was amazing and I would absolutely recommend tasting all the local fruits. Well, we haven't tasted all of them yet, but... Deliciosa is All still. the types of maracuya was a great experience, so I would recommend tasting them all. And then we also have Deliciosa. Apparently Monstera has a fruit and it's like a local thing. You're not supposed to eat it until it's fully ripe, so we have bought it, but we haven't tried it yet. And I think... There was something else very local uh, with like little spikes, we which we still have to find yeah. and try at some point. We are tasting another brisa, this time it's a pineapple flavor. Let's see if this will be an artificial flavor or a nice one. Oh, it immediately smelled like pineapple. Immediately, like a fresh pineapple. Oh, wow. It's very mild and it doesn't necessarily taste like pineapple, I would say. It smells like it. But it is a bit boring, I would say. How are you doing waiting in the line? Hungry. Hungry? Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's worth it. Oh, now the cat went over there, I'm gonna go. <laughs> no, you have to open it. Okay, I'll try. Oh, look, it's free. Those are really good. It's very good, it came in a better and it doesn't taste like regular fish, does it? To me, it's, I don't know, to me it's a little bit different. Like, it's a little bit sour, but that might be the way they flavored it. Another day, another brisa tasting. Today we have an apple flavored brisa. Um, let's see what the fuss is about. So far, the Marquia one is leading. It smells like every artificial apple drink, and it tastes like carbonated, watered down apple juice. Not necessarily bad. I like it more than the pineapple one. So I'm gonna give it, I can't remember how much I gave the pineapple one, but I'm gonna give this one like 7 out of 10. It's quite refreshing, um, but it's not anything special. It's also no sugar, can't be good. Wow, it's falling off now. It smells so good, but it somehow looks really gross. Mm. Oh wow, so good. It's really freaky though that you can like actually poison yourself with this. You cannot poison yourself, to be careful, only yeah. if, you if it comes, this one comes off. Yeah. So. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, look here. It's kind of like a mixture between a banana and a pineapple, I feel like. Now 
another uh, traditional drink. This one is called Nikita. It's actually, I'm not exactly sure ice what cream. it is. And there is ice cream and something with passion fruit. I think normally you drink this with alcohol as well, but we grab the non-alcoholic version. It's very thick and it tastes like pure passion fruit. It's kind of like a concentrated brisa. Very nice and refreshing. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to eat the ice cream though. Or are you just Melt. supposed to drink it? And the ice cream I think is also a maracuya ice cream. 10 out of 10. It's time to taste the final brisa, orange flavor. After tasting the other flavors, I don't have high expectations because so far nothing has topped the maracuya one. Let's give it a whiff test. It smells like the fuzzy multivitamin tablets that you throw into the water. Oh, it also tastes like that. Nope. It is extremely artificial. All right, nothing tops the maracuya one. The rating goes passion fruit, pineapple, apple, and this one doesn't even take a place because it's kind of disgusting and very artificial. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know if I want to eat it if one of them was filled with worms and it was all in one bag i don't know if it's safe because they like don't have a shell you kind of like you don't eat the skin but they don't but really have a shell if there's worms in it apparently this is supposed to taste like a tomato and a papaya right something i don't know how does it taste it tastes like um mushed tomato that doesn't taste like a tomato maybe I don't know how it has gone it. bad do you think it has gone bad i don't know what's it meant to taste like that's the thing but if it's meant to taste like this i would not say it's very good <laughs> it normally comes with the spikes but they removed them and it was actually kind of hard to get a hold of this because the season is already over we do not know how to eat it we do not know what's it supposed to taste like i also don't know what plant this comes from Cactus, I think. Cactus? Maybe. Like a cactus fruit. So I'm just gonna cut it and see what happens. It smells a little bit like cucumber or zucchini or pumpkin. <laughs> not like a fruit, I guess. No, it doesn't. It does not smell like fruit at all. I will take a little bit. It's kind of like a watermelon in, in the structure. Mm. It just kind of falls apart in your mouth, but it doesn't have any like exciting flavor or anything. It's really mostly watery and kind of like a watermelon. I really don't know how to describe it. I'm really bad at describing the flavors. It's not exciting. It doesn't spark joy. It's it's nice, but it wouldn't become my favorite. So we got gifted this little fruit. It's a strawberry guava. You should be able to eat the whole thing except for this part, if I understood it correctly. So I might just go for it. Mm. <laughs> no laugh. I'm thinking about what I think about it. It's, it's a little bit sour and the skin feels like you're not maybe supposed to eat it. It's a bit strange. And the inside is kind of like the sour maracuya that we had. But I don't know what I could con uh, compare it to. It's, it's nice, it's very refreshing. Could imagine this in like an iced tea. <laughs> this one is different than what we had before. Maybe I already fucked up. It's the maracuya one, I think we had a... Uh, the original tangerine. one doesn't have a... Maybe because I said the original one, maracuya, and, and then she was confused. confused yeah. All right. Cheers. Wait. No. Wait. It's not good. Oh no. No. Yeah. Yeah. 
No. We found out that the original poncha is actually a fisherman poncha and not any of the flavors that we've already tried. Um, what was it? Just lime, um, honey sugar and cane. alcohol and maybe some sugarcane stuff. It's meant to be the stronger one, so I hope I won't die right here on the spot. It actually smells a little bit like limoncello, so I'm really curious. Oh, oh this is actually very nice. <laughs> I thought it was going to kill me on the spot. Okay, I can see why it's the original. It's very nice.